Hello everyone. Uh, this isn't an episode of how to play like a WAP pro, but I wanted to share this replay with you anyways. This replay is in the new arcade mode. Well, it's not really new by the time that I've uh, released this video probably, but basically in this mode, the first iteration of it, your accuracy is incredibly good, well on the move, and well fully aimed. And then also, your engine power is doubled, and then you also spot enemy tanks. Basically, the proxy circle becomes four, 445 meters. And so, it's completely ridiculous. Now this mode, at least this iteration of it, very much favors tanks with terrible gun handling and tanks that are not limited by their top speed. So, for example, um... What's the name of that tank? The... Well, I'll just give a different example because I can't think of it. Um, like the IS-7, for example, is a great tank in this mode because it's it's not limited by its top speed. Its top speed is extremely high. Um, so, it's the engine power helps it out a lot. Whereas something like an S-Conk, you basically already reach your top speed anyways. Um, even in, like, normal random battles, even without double... double the the doubled engine power really doesn't increase your speed much at all. Well, it does increase it, but not as much as as in something like an IS-7. So, one of the side effects of uh, this disproportionate um, advantage is that tanks like the FV-4005 become extremely overpowered because normally the 4005 has probably the worst bloom of any tank at tier 10, but in this new mode, I'm not even using very much uh, equipment. I'm not even using equipment for my gun, really, to like reduce the bloom. And yet, you can still see just how accurate I actually am. It's crazy. And so, I just wanted to show off what it was like to play a 4K5 during this this special mode. In case you missed this mode, or just in case you're you wanted to experience what it's like to play this tank if you don't have it yourself. Um, or you didn't play it during this mode. So yeah, first we just pick off the 705A uh, with a, a shot into the side of his turret. And now I'm hoping that this 277 pokes. Now keep in mind that I'm being spotted at all times. And look how quickly I aim at this guy. I was aimed like over here. And I just turn and then like two seconds later I click and he's dead. And he, only his turret was exposed. If this was a random battle, there's I would have had to aim for like probably like six more seconds in order to get that shot it's absolutely crazy and another thing to keep in mind is since we have guys over here um, I'm not scared of getting shot by anybody back here because these guys will actually proxy spot anybody who's playing over here because they're within 445 meters so I don't really have to worry about them too much Uh, just a spoiler, this game, it's probably going to be in the title, but this is a 10k plus game. Um, and honestly, my average damage in this tank, while I was playing this mode, was probably over 5,000. Which, in random battles, it's probably around like 3.7 thousand or something like that. So... That just shows how much this mode buffs this tank. It's crazy. As we pick off the VK-7201. They're just not really paying attention to me. It's not that I'm not spotted. They just haven't noticed that I'm here. Now I'm waiting for the, se two, the 277 to overpeak. But he's not. Now I noticed this STB just a little bit too late. So he gets a free shot onto me. But look at that accuracy. I can easily snipe his Capola. Doesn't matter that I was turning my tank or turning my turret. I have no bloom whatsoever. And uh, I saw some some polls that some YouTubers did asking people whether they thought introducing this into the game was a good idea. And the uh, the responses were actually surprisingly positive. Like peop there was a decent amount of people who thought that introducing this into the random battles would not be a bad idea 
And uh, I think this game will show you why um, it is a bad idea. At least for tanks like the 4K5, they're just too broken in this mode as I put 1900 damage into the 277. Now here I do something a little bit too aggressive. Um, I'm kind of pushing into the open. But now I look over and then I see this guy's username. This is Seas. He's in Czar. I recognize his name, so he's actually a good player. So this is a little bit too aggressive by me because this guy knows what he's doing. Here I intuition to AP because I don't have much chance of penning him with HE. So I might as well load the AP and go for the... The 1100 roll or whatever it is. What's the alpha on this again? 1150, so. And honestly, if he poked right here, I, I would feel pretty confident about hitting his Capola just with how good the accuracy is on this thing. There, I hit the Sturve as he gets spotted. Already up to 9700 damage. I'm kind of just hoping and praying that this guy won't hit me. Now I'm, I'm keeping AP loaded because I don't expect myself to be able to pen him with HE. Here I'm going for that final bit of damage. And unfortunately he gets shot right before I fire by the IS-4 or maybe the S-Conk, I don't know. So I don't get like 10,500 but still 10,200 pretty epic game. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any extra arcade game mode replays to show you. Um, so this is probably going to be a really short video, but I just wanted to show off this replay just to show off how overpowered the 4K5 was in this game mode. I'm hoping that it returns sometime, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if it does because people really seem to like it there was like a small minority of people who absolutely hated it but most people actually liked it especially because you could grind credits and tier eights in it um but yeah i'm not gonna bother showing the end plates 10,200 damage five kills 400 spotting or tracking i should say yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one